Hello and welcome to episode 79 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. The least watched show on the internet. I don't have any data to back that up. Sometimes I wish I did. On today's episode I am going to work on the Sudoku puzzle I started trying to solve yesterday. I hope there is a day that I can solve two Sudoku puzzles on one episode of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. I have got to get faster at solving Sudoku puzzle. Well, I suppose I don't have to get faster at solving Sudoku puzzles. I want to get faster at solving Sudoku puzzles. You know it might be interesting to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I don't remember when I first used a Rubik's Cube. All I know is that I have never been able to solve one. Not that I have spent much time working to solve a Rubik's Cube. Maybe next year I will work on one enough to solve it. It's so small I can carry it around anywhere. I don't need internet, a computer, a television. Rubik's Cube would be a cheap hobby, and I only need a Rubik's Cube. I can play it anywhere. Maybe I could juggle Rubik's Cubs. I don't think they would hurt. Juggling is so fun. If you have not tried it, it's almost a new year. Why not give it a try? I never thought I could juggle and now look at me. Actually don't look at me. So I maybe I will try to solve a Rubik's Cube next year. I probably won't though. For me it was between juggling and magic. As you probably don't know I like magic. But with magic I would need to get more stuff than I would if I want to juggle. For juggling all I need is juggling balls, or in my case hazy sacks. But, if I were going to work on magic I would need other things, such as cards, coins and whatever else the magic trick called for. I might be interested in card magic. I don't know whether I will learn any card magic tricks. It's just something rolling around in my head. Juggling is so fun. Have I said that already? Yes, I have. I thought juggling baseballs might be fun, and juggling basketballs seems like it might be fun. I wonder what things I can juggle. I could juggle almost anything I want. Expit my computer, a TV, a microwave, a stove, a refrigerator. I can't even lift those things. At least not without a lot of help. Juggling bowling balls seems dangerous. On the other hand, juggling bowling pins seems okay. I think there was even a lesson lesson on how to juggle bowling balls in the juggling book I read. I could juggle candy, specifically candy bars. I don't think I could juggle radio control cars. I will have to think about which things I can juggle. That will give me something to think about. You know just one day this year or next year I want to think about math for 19 hours a day. At my age it's hard enough to stay up for 19 hours a day. I wonder if I could think about math for 19 hours a day. I am sure it beats thinking about buying something expensive. Thinking about math for 19 hours a day is better than thinking about a sports car I want to buy. It does not cost me any money to thinking about math 19 hours a day. I hope I have enough time to continue reading books next year. I hope I have enough time to watch movies next year. I hope I have enough time to get what I want to get done next year. I hope I get interested in new hobbies next year. I hope I make it thought next year in good health.
I hope I change next year. I hope next year is my best year ever. Today is the best day of my life. Today is the best day of my life. Today is the best day of my life. What else can I talk about? And subject is fine for me to write about as long as it's about me. Is that wrong that I enjoy talking a about myself? It does not seem to draw in the viewers for oatmeal breakfast plays a video game. Ah, there are probably just too many videos out there for people to watch. Maybe no one wants to see someone play Sudoku. Maybe I am boring. As long as I am having fun I will keep making oatmeal breakfast plays a video game. Sudoku is so fun. What fun it is to play Sudoku. No, no, no. I have got a lot more to write to fill the space that I need to file. I have to find something to talk about. I like the idea to go for a championship in as many sports video games as I can. I suppose I play video games like I do everything else. I switched between programming languages, and never got anywhere with programming. And I switch teams in all the sports video games I play. I must think I am missing out, if I don't try every team. I try too many options, instead of sticking to one, and following that until I learn it. I could just pick my favorite pro sports team, and sit with it I don't have to try every team. I can just pick the team I enjoy playing as. I start a lot of things but, don't finish them all. Maybe that is how I do things. I don't think I ever played as a team for an 82 game season in NBA Live 2003. If I ever play NBA 2K20 I want to play as a team for an entire 82 game season. Watching that Madden Challenge game, where the two players mainly ran the ball got me excited. Since I can't pass the ball well in Madden maybe I can play like them. It seems easy to run the ball for every play but, it's probably not. I don't know how the, the one Madden player was able to run Lama Jackson on every play. I don't think I could run the quarterback on every play and win a game. It just gave me an idea to try should I ever play Madden again. I also hope to play more than just sports games. Mabai that is why I played sports games so much, because I was decent at them. I did beat Super Mario 2. I don't know how I did that. I am not good at video games so how was I able to beat Super Mario 2? I know why I was able to beat Control. The cheat code that gave me 30 lives. Otherwise I am sure I never would have beaten Contra. I did beat Mike Tyson's Punch Out without a cheat code. Or was Punch Out the game I had? I always thought I had Mike Tyson's Punch Out but, it could have been Punch Out. I have no idea. All I know is that I had one of those games. I am not a boxing fan. And there is no way I could ever be a boxer. I don't know how people can box. They are a lot tougher than I am. I would fall down if someone's fixed came a foot in front of my face. Yes, I have written enough. I was able to solve the Sudoku puzzle. Hooray. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Same place, different time. Have a great night. Good night.